Shante Jenkins, a 38-year-old wig designer who believes her fiancé, the hood anchorman, has been unfaithful. Shante hired our team to investigate. My name is Shante Jenkins. I'm 38 years old, and I believe that my man is cheating on me. He don't touch me the way he used to touch me. I mean, the sex was never great because he only had like two inches, but um, we made it work. And it, things just haven't been the same. He comes home with his wig, wig crooked, well, with my wig crooked on his head, and he usually take care of my wig, but they it's just not right. Something isn't right, and I just feel that he's seeing someone else or doing something that he has no business doing. Um, the money is short. Uh, like I say, I've been through three different wigs within a month because he's making them frizzy and coming home with them crooked. I don't know what he's doing with my good hair. My car has extra mileage on it. Um, he comes home, his suit is wrinkled. I don't know what's going on. And I just want to get to the bottom of it because I really need to find out the truth because I could have so much more. On day one of the investigation, our detectives were quickly able to establish where the hood anchorman had been spending his extra time, a local park in Bamberg, South Carolina. Here we see the hood anchorman pulling up to an unknown vehicle in the park. As he exits, a woman emerges from the unknown vehicle whose name at the time is unknown. They share a warm embrace. They talk for a little while, share another warm embrace, return to their vehicles, and both leave. Apparently, they were meeting here and traveling to an unknown location together in separate vehicles, after which the hood anchor man returns home to Shantae. This concludes our investigation for day one. On day two, we find the hood anchor man coming back to this exact same park where the exact same vehicle is there waiting for him again. As they both exit their vehicles, we now know the identity of this unknown woman. Her name is Kim. He grabs her by the hand and leads her to his vehicle this time. He opens her door for her. Notice the wig on his head. It's the same wig from day one. They enter his vehicle together and now they leave. This time our investigators were able to follow them to their destination. Several hours later, just before sunrise, they return here we see the hood anchor man exiting his vehicle once again going around to the side door to open it for Kim they share one final embrace before he opens her door for her and they part ways again on this particular evening the hood anchor man had told Shantae that he had a show out of town. Due to reasons beyond our jurisdiction, we are unable to disclose the location where they spent the night together. It is now time to meet Shantae and present to her the evidence we have compiled. Okay, on day one of the investigation, we observed the hood anchor man coming into her home with this young woman here. I mean, do, do you know about her? I've seen her around, but oh, that's definitely okay. so, so she looked very familiar to you? Yes, she does. Well, okay, so we're going to go a little deeper into this here. So um, how, how do you know about her? I've just seen her around. I can't believe he got my wig on. Oh, my goodness. Let's see. Uh, let's go up a little farther. So, um, you know her for a long time? Oh, my God. I feel like I'm about to pass out. No, no. This, I can't this, take this. Keep it cool. I can't we, believe he did this to me. Well, we go a little deeper for In my here. car. Yeah, that's that's where we go a little deeper. And then right he leave here. with her. Oh my God. Well, uh, how do you feel about this? How do you feel about it? I can't deal with this. 
I've been with him for too long. I can't deal with this. This is just too much. I'm sorry to show you that, but um, that just that's just what we saw. We observed and we got it on camera, so I had to show you and let you know what's going on. I thought it was on the right, you know. So we're asking about seeing right now. Having my surveillance right now at the same park. Are you ready to confront? Yes, I'm ready to confront it. All right, then. let's go ahead and do what we got to do. Okay. I can't believe he would do this to me. That explains why I went through so many wigs in one month. Because he's in the backseat getting it on with some chick. I, I mean, it's it's done. It's over with. I can have so much more because I take care of him with his one suit. I, I can't deal with him no more. It's done. It's over with. I found out what I needed to find out. Now I can move on with my life. And now we see the hood anchor man still in denial. Yeah, ever since. Being on hood cheaters, as you know, it's, it's been rough for me. You know, I, I couldn't get, I couldn't get any, any damn gigs. I couldn't get no more gigs. Everybody saw me. All the television shows, networks, you know, knocked me off. I had to change up my image. You know, they try to get a new job. I've been wearing the same suit now ever since that day. I can't make no money to buy a new suit. I just been sitting around, just drinking beer, man. Just. <laughs> You know, man, you know, I, 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 I was wrong, you know, I, 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 was, I was wrong. But really, I just thought, it wasn't supposed to be an interview. I just started an interview, and then one day I know my pants fall down. I didn't pull them down. My pants just came down. So, you know, I, I can't really admit to it, because I was real, I was, I was just f*** it, man. It just, life has just been hell, man. It's been going down since the damn day of being on hood cheetah. I want a bag. I want. I want my baby bag. I need more wigs. 
Looks like he'll have to find his wigs elsewhere. This concludes this episode of Hood Cheaters.